Hello, this is Mr. Willis, and I'm going to show you some tricks for editing audio you've recorded in Audacity. So to start, if you look up here, I have a piece of audio that I have recorded in Audacity. Let's see how it sounds. It started out as a normal summer night. And, oh, I lost my place. Oh. The city was loud and hot. Okay, did you hear the mistake? <laughs> I definitely did. Right here in the middle, I completely lost my place. Now, this might mean that I have to re-record the whole thing, but not always. I'm going to show you some tricks how to edit out mistakes and make certain things sound better. So, in this case, if you were paying close attention, you noticed that my mistake was right in this area here. It's very good uh, to pay attention to the spikes in the pictures that Audacity makes. You'll notice my mistake was like a little bit lower in audio because I was kind of mumbling to myself when I realized I'd messed up. And so that's a good uh, kind of pointer to look for. So I want to get rid of that mistake. There's a couple different ways to do it. All of them start with my selection tool. This is the one that looks kind of like a cursor in Word or something. And if I just click and release, with my selection tool, you'll see how it creates a line right there in the middle of my recording. If I click and drag, it selects an area. And so right now, I think I've selected the area that had my mistake, but to make sure, I'm going to hit the play button. And if an area is selected, it will just play back what's in the shaded part here. And, oh, I lost my place. Oh. Yep, that's definitely the mistake. All right, so I want to get rid of that. I have a couple different options. One, if I know I just want to delete the whole, the whole section there, I can just push the delete button on my keyboard or click the scissors up here for cut. And it's gone. Let's see what it sounds like now. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Ha! Huh. It's as if my mistake never happened. Gotta love it. But let me go ahead and undo that. Let me show you some other options that you can do that, depending on what you're doing, could be useful. So this time, instead of just cutting out the whole thing, I am going to use a line instead of a shaded area. So I'm going to pick, all right, I know my mistake started right about here. And so I'm going to have a line right there. And I'm going to go to Edit and Split. If you like keyboard shortcuts, it's Control-I. And you see how it just made kind of this little cut right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do one more at the end of my mistake, right over here. Edit, split. And I've got another one. Now I can introduce a new tool up top called the Time Shift tool. This is the one with two arrows on either side. This lets me grab segments of audio and move them. Now here's where it's kind of cool. I can take, here's the last part of the reading, that's good. Here's my messed up part, and there's the beginning. So I can take my messed up part here, and let's go ahead and just highlight all that again, and cut it out. But now, I can move the second part here, because I don't know if you heard, I didn't have much of a break when I cut all that stuff out, so maybe I won't put them right next to each other. Maybe I'll give it just a little bit of a pause. Let's see how that sounds. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Okay, that is probably a little bit better of a flow there, letting, letting there be a pause in the middle. So there's a few uh, good little tricks. Now while I'm at it, let me go ahead and show you one other one. This is called the silence. So let's say I select an area. I'll select some of this dead air in the beginning, and I'm going to silence it. So you see what that does is it takes the, the volume down to zero, but it doesn't shift, move anything around. This technique is really good if you notice that you, you did a really loud <gasps> or <sighs> breathing in or out right before or after your sentences. Those can get really distracting when you're listening to an audio book. All right, so I hope you find some of those tricks useful and check back for more videos.